dear students the next topic that we are going to start today is growth correlations as the name indicates the growth of the different parts will be interrelated with one another so its definition includes the following lines the development of plants is correlated with the growth the different organs growing at different rates and in different directions as well as the development of different organs so this reciprocal relationship of growth reciprocal means if one part grows the others growth is inhibited or it is um, less exhibited as compared to the other part so the activity or the growth of one organ influences the growth of the other organ this is called growth correlation development of the plant correlated with the growth means the development of one part of the plant is related with the growth of the other part of the plant different organs will grow at different rates depending upon this relationship means if one part is growing at a faster rate so whole of the nutrition will be used by that part and the other parts will become devoid of nutrition or hormones or the vitamins and their growth will be retarded at different rates some will grow faster the rest will grow slower than them and in different directions their direction of growth will also be different and as a result the development of different organs will be at different rates for example in flowering season or in fruiting season the growth or growth of the other parts of the plant will become slow or it will be retarded so that whole of the nutrition or whole of the uh, vitamins and the hormones and other necessary factors needed for the growth they must be supplied in adequate amount to the growing fruit so as a result the growth of the vegetative parts will become affected similarly there is another example that uh, the formation of flower may be controlled by the activities of leaf for example in flowering season the growth of the leaf will become slow and retarded so as a result we can say that the growth correlation is nothing but the growth of one part affecting the growth of the other part if one part affects the growth of the other part this is known as growth correlation and you have to keep in mind that it is a reciprocal relationship if one grows faster the other will be slower i have uh, drawn a diagrammatic indication that the growth in part 1 and the growth in part 2 they may affect each other in a positive or negative manner i hope this is now clear this is the basic concept now we will discuss the types of the growth correlation